Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to quickly find and review transactions. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. We're here in QuickBooks Desktop 2019, and oftentimes when you're working in QuickBooks, it gets a little bit difficult to, to quickly find transactions and, and to find what you're looking for. And there's, there's really multiple ways you can you know, search and find transactions, and you can look it up by vendor, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but, you know, a lot of times you just need a quick and easy way to look something up. It could be that, you know, a customer calls or, you know, hey, you know, a vendor is saying you owe uh, a certain amount of money and you have five bills outstanding, but you only show three in your system, you know, et cetera. So you need you need a, a way to quickly look up these transactions. So what I want to show you here, and it's just it's it's an area uh, that I think a lot of uh, you know, people don't really use in QuickBooks. And so I want to show that to you. Okay, so we're here on the home screen. And let's say that we need to look up uh, customer transactions. Okay, so what you can do, you can go over to the customer center. And it's going to default to the customer and jobs. Okay, so the customer and jobs screen is going to come up and you've got all your customer and jobs. But what you can do is click this transactions tab. So let's say that you are looking for an invoice and you really want to know uh, what invoices were sent out this month. So what you can do is filter by all invoices or you can change that to be just open invoices or even overdue invoices. Okay, so there's no overdue invoices, but let's say open and we want to filter by uh, this month. Okay, so it's going to filter all this quickly and show you, okay, here are all the invoices that were sent this month. And again, you can choose any one of these, uh, you know, different date ranges in here. Let's say uh, this fiscal year. Okay, we've got a lot more here. And if you need to go to one of these, you can simply, you know, double click. Let's say we need to go to this one and look it up quickly. A customer calls, uh, you know, you can look it up and find out what the details are of this invoice. Okay, so let me go back over here to the customer center. Now you can do this in various areas of, of QuickBooks. So if I go to vendors and I go to the vendor center, Again, I can look up transactions and let's say that I need to look up purchase orders. Uh, let's, let's say just open purchase orders uh, this week. You'll see these purchase orders. Or let's say that we need to look up uh, a bill payment. Let's say bill payments, we're gonna filter by all as our only option, but let's say this week. Okay, so here are all the bills that have been paid this week, some by credit card, some by check. And again, you can double click on any one of these and go to the actual bill and uh, the bill payment and see what the transaction looks like. Again, you've got sales tax payments, checks, et cetera. You know, under the, if I go back to the customer center over here uh, with all the transactions, I've got estimate, sales orders, invoices, received payments. If we wanna see, you know, uh, let's say that we wanna check uh, look at the payments received by check and we want to say uh, this week you can look up these check payments okay uh, you've got some other options if you go to the employee center uh, you can you know go to the same thing look up the transactions the paychecks year-to-date adjustments uh, liability adjustments that maybe you've made uh, two QuickBooks. Okay, so these are just some quick and easy ways when you go to the centers, the vendor center, customer center, employee center, to look up these transactions, filter them by the date range and what exactly you're looking for. This is just a quick and easy way to look up uh, information in QuickBooks. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And also head over to the QuickBooks University. We'd love to have you join us over there. Uh, we have a lot of people that are becoming members. Uh, I don't want you to miss out over there. We've got the full training tutorials plus the personal support. Head on over now, qbuniversity.org.